I have shot some photos with time lapse, half a second intervals, and I wanted to look into the app to see if the shutter was there, and I don't think it's there for the time lapse photo video. But here's a prime example. I have a street lamp that's a cadescent right above head, and it's pretty well lit in a perspective way that the GoPro standing here would not grab the brightness of this footage. And that's what the Yi wins over the GoPro. I cannot wait for the GoPro Hero 5 to come out, hoping it does the shot like this. Very bright indeed. If it can outperform the Yi, oh man, I'd be amazed. So on with the show. Off we go. I'm talking a little louder than usual because I got the sunroof and the two back windows rolled down a little bit. Hopefully there won't be any wind to the camera, but there'll be road noise. Yesterday I did this shot. It was a nice sunny day. Today there's going to be rain in the clouds. Overcast, low clouds. It is dark. Sun's coming out. But who knows when it'll be out. What a bright day it was. What an overcast day it is now. I took a little detour. There's a lake. And I'm going to have to turn around just to uh, really get to see the edge of the lake. I don't want to be in the mountain area. I want to show you the steam, uh, the mist, the cloud that's coming off the lake. I'm here at a nice, beautiful lake. Early in the morning, the sun is uh, trying to come out. Rain in the forecast, very low clouds. I'm in 4K video resolution at 30 frames per second, ultra. I've done the shot with just standard video resolution. I feel this is an unbelievable shot. Listen to the background noise, an airplane, a crow, and cars. Thank you very much for viewing the Yi2 4K action camera. The best action camera ever, period.